Hello and welcome back to Valentino Bay, my city build series on City Skylines 1. In the last episode, we built some commercial onto the Soviet-inspired low-income district, including a supermarket, some high-rise commercial, a couple of offices and a unique building. I've actually turned this unique building into an office because it wasn't really serving much purpose other than just drawing a whole load of people to the district as a unique building. So it's got quite a high capacity to take on as many of the educated workers from this district as possible. I also added a little bit more detail into the front of the supermarket because when I loaded back in, I realized how empty this side was compared to the back. So I added in some bins, benches, lamp posts, some little bike racks, a few cars on the front and some ground decals. And I've got to say, these tiny details have actually made such a huge difference to the front of this shop. I don't know why I didn't think to do that in the last episode, but never mind, it all looks good now. I also added a few decals to the back of the store as well, just to keep it consistent with the front. We've had a name suggestion for this district. It actually came in two episodes ago, but I completely forgot to put it in in the last episode. So this district will henceforth be known as Kalograd. Grad is obviously used in a lot of towns and cities in places like Russia and post-Soviet countries. And I believe that it just means city or town. So I guess it's similar to when an English speaking place ends with Berg or Tun. And the Kala part comes from my previous city build series, Kalathea. That is a completed tropical city build series that was done fairly rushed because I originally aimed for it to be completed before City Skylines 2 came out. But there's a huge amount of stuff in that build and one of them took me I think over 13 hours to finish doing. But despite the lack of colour correction and terrible node work, I think it was a pretty good series. This district now has a population of around 3,000 people and the one thing that they are missing more than anything is health and death care. I had a massive death wave this morning and they were pulling in hearses from the district all the way on the other side of the map. So what we're gonna do today is add in a small healthcare facility and a cemetery. It's gonna be on this piece of land here and it's gonna kind of be back to back. So the healthcare building is gonna be on this road over here and the cemetery is gonna be around here. It might not be the best idea to put a cemetery in the middle of a commercial area in a very busy town, but it fits really nicely in this space and there's tons of detailing that I can do to kind of bridge the two assets together. So let me get stuck in.
So here's the completed healthcare block. I tried to keep the assets as on theme as possible. This healthcare building came from the same creator that made a lot of the residential buildings, so it kind of fits seamlessly. There's a little ambulance park down the side, and there's no parking zone in the front, obviously, because it can't block an ambulance in. And I put a few benches and tables around just to fill up these empty spaces. A lot of the time that you spend at hospitals, especially if you're not the one that's unwell, is just waiting around. So I tried to give them as many places to sit down as possible. I don't think these are functional, but it at least looks like they've made an attempt. Down the back is some parking with some floor decals just to grubby it up a bit. And then in the back corner, I've made this little outdoor space for kids to come and play or for people to come and sit. Hospitals are stressful environments and you kind of need some space to unwind. So I thought I would make quite a basic outdoor space back here, just shoved in the corner behind the car park. It's got some stuff for kids to play on and a little space for people to sit down kind of away from all the hustle and bustle. I tried to use the same bench and plant props just to keep it consistent throughout this build. And I left this back bit open here just so that the workers could get to the ambulances if they need to. Because there's no door on the side of the building here so they kind of have to come from this one. This little road then turns into a pathway that connects up to this block over here. And then on the other side is the cemetery. It's quite a basic cemetery. This is from the workshop and it's just the headstones but it is a functioning cemetery so it does send hearses out. I used some walls and some gate detailing just to close it off and surrounded it with a bunch of oak trees and then put some benches in underneath the trees dotted around. Couldn't really see what I was doing when I was doing this so there may be some benches they're actually in a tree, but I think I managed to get them all placed just right. There's a couple more on this wall, and I put these trees in at the entrance just to give those benches a little bit of privacy from the people walking in. And as you can see, people will still walk through the walls, but at least it looks like that gate serves a function. It's definitely helped to fix our healthcare problem. There aren't any big skull and crossbones over any of the buildings anymore, and no more have removed themselves through having dead residents. So I'd say that this has worked to kind of fix the problems in this district. It looks very on theme. I mean, if you look at this district as a whole now, it is very consistent all the way across. There's a consistent aesthetic, a consistent style of the buildings going all the way through, and also consistent trees and props being used across all of the different blocks. This district is almost finished for now. I've got one more area to build on. That may take place in one episode. It may spill over into two, but it's a very exciting build. I've had this idea for quite a while. And if I can pull it off, could end up being something that looks really cool. But I don't want to jinx it and speak too soon. So we'll just have to find out how it goes. Let me know what you think of today's build in the comments and if there's anything that you would have done differently. I'm really loving how this district is flashing out so far. And I'm actually going to be kind of sad when we move away and start on a new area because I could build this kind of stuff all day, every day. Don't forget to check out my socials for more content. You can see behind the scenes footage as well as stuff from my off-screen builds as well. And you can also request deeper looks at any of my builds that I do as part of these YouTube series or tips for anything you might be stuck on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.